Hello all viewers and aspirants. My name is Devashish and this is Enid Shabner production. Welcome back again. So in the last video, we saw Vedic math computation of the squares of the numbers. So basically squares involve the multiplication itself. And I had told you that I'll be putting a multiplication video which will use Vedic maths. And Vedic maths has a very beautiful and elegant technique to compute multiplication. We will see the multiplication. But before that, like in the last video, we would have to understand what is a base. So the base, like I told in the last video, is the power of the 10. And there was a secondary base secondary base is the multiple of the power of the 10. So it would be 20, 30, 40, etc. 200, 300, 400, etc. So if this is clear, our multiplication is going to be very, very easy. I hope the importance of the multiplication technique is very clear for you. A Vedic math multiplication technique is a tool for you to apply in various exams so that you can do your computations very very quickly and apply this technique to go ahead of everybody. So, do, gyan pilo. So, like I said, we need to first choose a base when we see the numbers first. So, again, let us write down some bases that we can use. The base of 10, base of 100, base of 1000, etc. We might have to choose a secondary base which is a multiple of the power of 10 and I have already described it. It could be 200, 300, 4000, anything but a multiple of the power of 10. We will take an example first. Let us choose, let us say 94 times 91. Now look at these numbers. I have chosen these numbers to be near to one of the primary base, the power of 10 and that is a 100. So always remember when you look at the numbers you have to choose a base first. Now we have chosen a base of 100. Now what we have to do is write down the first number and look at how much less is the 94 by 100. It is 6 less than 100. So write down minus 6 here. Minus is because we need to show that 94 is less than 100. Again write down 91 and again do the same thing. Write minus 9 alongside that. Now there are two parts of our answer. There will be right hand part and the left hand part. The first thing is to compute the right hand part. So we have to do the multiplication of the right hand part. So minus 6 times minus 9 gives you 54. Now we have to come to the left hand side. How can we obtain the left hand side? It's very easy. Just combine the numbers diagonally. So you see 94 and minus 9. 91 and minus 6. If you combine 94 and minus 6, that gives you 85. Similarly, if you combine 91 and minus 6, that gives you 85. So that is basically your multiplication. It is 8500 plus 54. So basically, we are adding the 8500 into 54. So the right hand side part is getting added in 8500. Let us do one more example, but in this case, we will choose the numbers which are above 100. I am right now choosing a number just nearer to base so that you understand the technique first. Let us choose 103 times 108. How can we do this? Now both of these numbers are closer to the base 100 again. And because of that, we can write 103 and plus 3. 108 plus 8. We can follow the same technique. We need to find out the right hand side first, which gives you 24. And then we have to combine the numbers on the diagonal. You can choose any one pair. So that gives you 111. Like I said, it is basically 111 
two zeros after that and adding 24 to it that actually gives you the final answer but the question is why are we putting two zeros after 111 like this it is because we have two zeros in our primary base so if our base was 1000 we would have kept three zeros for the right hand side part all right so i think this is clear now we can choose a number closer to another base i'll quickly tell you let us see if how can we do the multiplication of 998 times 985 let's do this now the numbers are clearly closer to 1000 so we need to choose the base 1000 and from this base 1000 we can write the pairs of the numbers 998 and minus 2 because 998 is 2 less than 1000 and the negative sign shows that 998 is less than 1000 985 gives minus 15 and now we need to put the right hand side so that gives you 30 and then you have one pair in the diagonal to be combined which gives you 983 now because we have three zeros in the base the right hand side would have three places to be written off so we can write 983030 which is the answer to our multiplication now i think this is clear we can do the same thing with three digit number and a four digit number let's say 997 times 1004 now how can we do this clearly the base here is 1000 again but the differences have opposite directions so when you write 997 you get minus 3 and when you write 1004 you get plus 4 now the multiplication of minus 3 and plus 4 is going to be negative and now I want you to focus here when the multiplication is negative remember you need to do the multiplication as usual which is minus 12 and write down the combination of any two diagonal numbers so 997 plus 4 gives you 1001 and 1004 combined with minus 3 gives you 1001 as well but now you have to remember that there are three zeros to be put after 1001 and then you have to take away 12 from that and that gives you this answer am i correct i think we are let us clear this with another example taking two numbers near the base 100 and this time we are choosing 98 times 111 how can we do this now write down 98 and minus 2 111 plus 11 when you compute the right hand side you get minus 22 and to get the left hand side you combine one of the number digits so you get 109 and after 109 you need to put two zeros because the product was negative now you have to take away the product when product was positive we were adding the product in the number and now we are taking it away so we have this as our multiplication answer i hope you check it and let me know can we do one more example yes of course let's do one more quick example this time i'll not be explaining a lot i want you to do that with me so let us write this down 97 minus 3 107 plus 7 and then minus 21 then 104 so 104 minus 21 which gives you 10379 now let us talk about the numbers which are closer to some another base but not the power of 10 let's talk about 198 times 195 how can we do this now the base that we are going to choose is 200 we can choose the 200 as base 
Now we will do the same thing. 198 is 2 less than 200. 195 is 5 less than 200. Now combining any pair, we get 193, 0, 0 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we get the 10. We will add this time because the product is, product is positive. So this is our answer you would say but this is wrong why because when we got 193 you need to multiply that with the 2 because the base that we have chosen is 2 times the primary base of 100 so you can't do the same thing anymore you need to multiply the answer on the left hand side with 2 first so that gives you 6 8 and 3 here so 3 8 is 6 and then you have to put two zeros and then you have to add the 10. I hope you understand 38,610. So that is the answer for the given multiplication. Let's choose another example. We'll do one more example. Let's choose this time 485 multiplied by 503. So this time our base is going to be 500. So carefully you need to write 485 and minus 15 here, 503 and plus 3 here. Now choose a diagonal pair and combine them. You get 488. The base that we have chosen is 500, which is 5 times the primary base. So we will times the given left hand side by 5 now, so we, which gives you 2440. And now you have to put two zeros after that and add the given right hand side product so which is minus 45 so we have to take away 45 from the given number now so that gives me 2,43,955 so this is my answer for the given product let's choose another example and this time I won't explain so 393 and 409 so the base is going to be 400 and 393 can be written as like this and 409 can be written like this and then we will combine one of the pairs to give 402 and then I will multiply that with 4 to give 1608 and then I will put two zeros after that because the base I have chosen I'll have two zeros after that then I'll take away 63 from that to get 1,60,737 so this is my answer for this given question I hope you have understood now the last bit is remaining wherein we have different bases can we do the multiplication with different bases the straight answer is no, we have to choose the same base for the two different numbers. So, but what if we have two different numbers like 198 and say 579? Can we do this question? We can do this question, but for that we'll have to multiply 198 by 3. I'm choosing 3 so that 198 times 3 gets closer to 579. So that that becomes 594 and then the another number is 579 and then I can choose a common base of 600 once I have chosen the common base of 600 I'll do the same thing 594 and I'll write down minus 6 here then I'll write down 579 and minus 21 here then we can combine one of the pairs to give 573 and this time the base being 600 we will have to times it by 6 so that gives me 3438 and then I'll have to put two zeros after that and write down the multiplication on the right hand side which is a positive multiplication and that is 126 I'll have to add these together. Now, this is the multiplication of 594 and 579. But we wanted multiplication of 198 and 579. 
in fact we reached at 594 by multiplying it with 3 so we can divide the given number by 3 to get the multiplication of 198 and 579 so that is 1 lakh 614642 so when we have two different numbers where the basis there is no common base that we can choose ultimately you should multiply one of the numbers or divide one of the number to come to get comparable numbers so that you can choose the basis nearby the numbers and then you can complete the vedic math multiplication and then go back by dividing or multiplying by the same number to get the original answer so this is how you can do vedic math computation for multiplication i hope the methods that i have told you are clear i want you to subscribe to the channel if you are loving the content on this channel because we will put more vedic math videos more general aptitude videos and more engineering topic videos so that you get help for different examinations you please like this video i would really love that because if you like the video the engagement on this video increases and it helps me a lot please share this video among your friends so that everybody gets to know this beautiful technique of vedic mathematics and vedic mathematics is a very elegant method and i wish every indian must know that if you love this attempt please press the bell icon right near the subscribe button so that you know every time when i put the video i'll meet you soon with another topic tab tak ke liye gyan pite rahiye